I'll be showing you step by step how to hide out of stock items on your Shopify store. I'll be showing you a very manual way first and then an automated way. And neither of these methods need an external app to do so. So let's start things off from our Shopify dashboard. And so the product I want to hide first is this outdoor camping bag. So let's say as an example, you don't track inventory for a product on your Shopify store and you want to make sure it's not selling anymore. If we head to the product page here, all you have to do is go to the status and we can set it to draft. Hit save on the top here. Now we can see it's not published on any of these channels. If I head back to the home page here and I reload it, I can see the product has now disappeared. Now that's a manual one-off basis where you don't want to have a product available on your store. So I'll go and re-enable this again. Now the automated way to have this not being sold when there's no inventory available is to track the quantity with the inventory setting here. So if we toggle this on track quantity, and this is underneath the product information, we can change how many are on hand. Now, if you use any different inventory tracking apps, it should update this automatically, but let's say you don't want to sell it anymore. Or if you are tracking quantity, you can just set the adjust by and just reduce it to zero. In this case, it's negative one here, but let's say it was five on the inventory units. It will be available on my store. But if I were to set this to negative four, bringing it to zero, I think I need to get rid of one more here. So let's say I don't have any on hand. The product will be removed from my Shopify collections here. Note, updating the inventory is going to take a few seconds to adjust on your Shopify store. We can also add a further setting to remove it from collection if they are showing up for whatever reason. And the way we do that is head to collections. Let's just head to any collection here. I'll do all as it has all the products on my store. I'm going to replace this existing condition here, setting it to all conditions as I wanted to match each one of these. I'm going to, instead of type, search for inventory stock. And I want to say it's greater than zero and it will be included in this collection. So if I click save here, it's basically going to be a filter. So it's not going to include any products with the inventory that is zero or below. Shopify store owners need to know where every dollar they spent is going. And that's where our sponsor of today's video comes in and it's profit calc, the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations, letting you make smarter business decisions. It has tons of different details, analytics and metrics so you can really understand your store's performance in a very concise and easy to understand manner. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest and TikTok as well as many cost of goods sold options. I'll leave a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. If you search for it in the Shopify app store as well, just look for this logo here and there's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So make sure you check out the link in the description below and start your free 15 day trial. So in a nutshell, those are the two ways which to hide out of stock items on your Shopify store. If you're not tracking inventory within Shopify, you can just go and hide the product, but but if you are tracking it, it should hide it when the inventory is below zero. If that's not happening for whatever reason, you can also put a filter on the collection to say only include products that have an inventory greater than zero. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.